e te iwi a tēnā tātou katoa. Ko Dickie Garrett tēnei, kai whakahari mātua o the Aotearoa Māori Sports Charitable Trust. Just a bit of a time to catch up and have a little uh, a kōrero about uh, past and present uh, goings on with the, with the Trust and the achievement of Māori sport. It's amazing at the moment where the Wimbledon Open Tennis Championships is on and recently um, we had uh, Rui Morrison here doing a Skype interview with a Brazilian TV company based in London on the famous Maria Buno who won many times uh, Wimbledon Australian US Open titles. Uh, the first year of course she won in 1959 in Wimbledon and she played our very own uh, Rui Morrison in the fourth round uh, defeating uh, Rui 61675 uh, and they wanted to ask a few questions uh, about uh, Maria because uh, sadly Maria passed away last year and uh, they wanted to ask uh, Rui about how good a player she was, what they thought of her. Amazing outcome of course of uh, Rui saying that they were both indigenous people of their countries one from Brazil and one from Aotearoa. So looking back over the over the last uh, over the last uh, let me say twelve or maybe sixteen months, uh, Maori achievement on the world stage is, is just growing so much. It's incredible. Not, not only the individual Maori world champions, but Maori and world champion teams. It has grown that that much that it's almost impossible, logistically impossible for us to invite all those Māori and World Champion team to an award evening where they would they would fill the, the event hall. <laughs> and of course, you know, once again, back going back over last year, we look at the uh, tremendous success of our, com our athletes at the Gold Coast Commonwealth Games where uh, we made up nearly 40% of the team and of course winning 39% of all the medals that New Zealand won. Outstanding achievements. When we look way back when, uh, in, in yesteryears of, uh, of one world champion a year and one commonwealth champion and now uh, Māori is at the forefront of, uh, of, of New Zealand sporting success, whether it be Olympics, commonwealth or world championships. And as we, as we grow into this year and of course our, our um, supreme winner uh, Lisa Carrington again is she performing outstanding in the uh, canoe racing o uh, overseas in the World Cup events and of course we have the Rugby World Championships up soon, we have the Netball World Champions, we see our Shearer has just gone over to, over to Wales to compete in the World Shearing, we've had our uh, women's soccer team compete in the World Soccer Championships and the many Māori that have competed in the many of those other events like the under-20 rugby and the recent Kiwi uh, rugby league success over Tonga. So Māori is, is, is making not only just an outstanding, it's making a full contribution to the sporting success of Aotearoa. And as, as this year goes and, uh, and the momentum of our, uh, our success grows, uh, we look forward to this year's event, uh, Saturday 30th of November at the Vodafone Events Centre at Manukau. And of course, uh, our challenge is to be proactive in putting on even a better event than in the past, or coming up with innovative ideas uh, to not only showcase our athletes, but to showcase those uh, tonu tautuk, or those sport supporters or those sponsors of the event, very important for us to do that. So we are mindful that we've got to put on a show for them because they support this event so well. We're also mindful to make sure we maintain uh, our entertainment side at the event to match the success of our Māori athletes. We're hoping this year to uh, have induction into our Hall of Fame with two athletes who uh, we cannot name at this stage and uh, to showcase what they achieved in their life of sport and achievement for Aotearoa. We look at um, not only the athletes performing on the on the fields and the, the courts of the world, but our coaches, administrators, referees, umpires, they also performing 
and we're looking at the moment, if you like, with the World Netball Championships in, uh, starting uh, shortly in, in London. And of course, we, we, we hope our saviour, Nolene Toto, the new coach, that she can uplift the team back to its past glory. Um, and we see the abundance of Māori coaches in rugby, netball, soccer, you name it, whatever, performing at that level as well. And of course our administrators, they fill the offices and the places of many, many national sporting organisations within Aotearoa. So to that we are looking forward to hosting the 29th Aotearoa Māori Sports Awards at uh, the Vodafone Events Centre in Monaco on Saturday the 30th of November. And forward from that, of course, we are looking forward to our, uh, our Huritou, our big birthday of the 30th Māori Sports Awards next year, which will go back to where it all started at Tūranga Waiwai Marae.